One of Canada's biggest banks pleaded guilty today in a major money laundering case in the U.S. tied to drug traffickers and agreed to pay a multi-billion dollar record fine. CTV's Adrian Gobriel on the financial fallout. A fiscal fiasco on the international stage. TD Bank created an environment that allowed financial crime to flourish. Hit with a record $3 billion fine, Toronto Dominion Bank pled guilty to multiple charges, including conspiracy to violate the Bank Secrecy Act and commit money laundering. By making its services convenient for criminals, it became one. Over a six-year period, the U.S. Attorney General says TD Bank failed to monitor $18.3 trillion in customer activity allowing three money laundering networks to transfer more than $670 million through accounts in the United States. In one instance, a group of TD Bank employees are alleged to have collected more than $57,000 in gift cards from drug cartels, eager to have their criminal cash cleaned. They're employing new and more complex t techniques to circumvent uh, the controls of financial institutions. As part of the significant settlement, TD Bank will also have its growth restricted in the United States. That will severely affect its bottom line, right, for the years to come, considering it was one of their growth strategies. In a statement, TD Bank's outgoing CEO said, in part, we have taken full responsibility for the failures of our U.S. anti-money laundering program and are making the investments, changes and enhancements required to deliver on our commitments. This is a difficult chapter in our bank's history. You need to have implemented concrete, uh, sophisticated transaction monitoring. The Canadian-based bank isn't expected to have any issues paying the fine. As for TD's 15 million clients in Canada, financial experts say they have little to worry about. TD is now the first bank in U.S. history to plead guilty to money laundering. Omar. All right, Adrian, thank you.